correspondent on the telephone now from Investec Asset Management's London office is Henry Rousseau. Henry, you say this is opportunistic. Please explain. Absolutely, Lindsay. I think the, the offer from, from Spain came at a time when we see significant depressed uh, platinum price, platinum now trading at levels not seen since the, the big financial crisis we had back in 2008-2009. Um, and it certainly seems quite opportunistic to come in now at this depressed platinum price environment where we also see probably the biggest premium uh, between the gold and the platinum price we've seen for a long time, $200. Um, Aquarius, Aquarius now under offer, and um, it, it, seems, it seems that the Spain is trying to get this for a steal. Mm. It is, of course, still geographically, um, it, it, geographically it makes sense because it's near the anglo platinum uh, operations that they're looking to take over Sibanya, uh, that in so it may, it, that is it makes sense from that point of view and synergy p uh, point of view. But I, I think from your point of view, what you're saying is that Aquarius Platinum, having spoken to you before, Aquarius Platinum is the operation that will probably benefit the most from any uh, sort of upsurge in the platinum price in both dollars and rands. Is that correct? That's right, Lindsay. I think the, uh, that's certainly for us a key part of our Aquarius investment. But I think more so. Also, the fact that um, you've got to give some credit to CEO Jean Nell. That's done a lot to, to make that business sustainable. We've seen a lot of the other platinum uh, stocks under pressure. We've seen concerns about London's balance sheet, although certainly recently they had a bit of a run. But I, I think the, the the key for us is that the Aquarius is a sustainable business, even at spot pricing. And then, of course, you've got the leverage um, in the long term to see significant, um, significantly higher pricing. Or, or value being delivered by Aquarius once the, the platinum price recovers. Yeah, in a statement you say the following, and I'm quoting you here, it says uh, they'll get the assets for almost nothing, while the premium paid for the synergies and cash that they'll get f from the deal. Um, so what you're saying is opportunistic, which we said at the beginning. Is there any price that you would consider uh, uh, sort of acquiescing and taking the, the deal, or you just want to be a long-term shareholder in Aquarius Platinum? Full stop. I, I, I think, uh, Lindsay, we certainly we certainly want to be want to be uh, fully um, see some full value for uh, for Aquarius being paid. I, I think you've got to look at certainly other options as well. If there's a cash offer, you could certainly buy other platinum stocks in the sector as well. But um, the discount we see in Aquarius is not you don't find similar discounts in any of the other platinum stocks. Um, so we'd, we'd have to consider the platinum price, the, um, the comparative um, stocks at the point that the offer comes to close. We still need to see competition commission approvals um, as well. And I suspect that we will see the platinum price recover also over the next six months. So that, that could make it very difficult for Sabanya to close the deal under the current offer. We've, yeah. we've seen now an offer of 266 and, and um, Less than a year ago, the, the share, share traded at 366, so it's still well below where um, the, the stock traded over the last year. Um, and that, that was a, a, a platinum price, not not dramatically, but um, higher than, than what we're seeing at the moment. So we, we could actually see the whole sector re rate and, and make this bid um, significantly um, out of money. Yeah, and certainly uh, set the whole sector alight with shares like Lonman, for example, around about three rand twelve, I think, was the low, closing yesterday at six rand ninety four. Henry, thanks very much for your time this lunchtime. That was Henry Rousseau on the telephone from London from Investec Asset Management.